Hey guys, Sing Oman here with Fire Emblem Heroes. Last time we cleared up Book 3, Chapter 2. This time we're going to be doing Book 3, Chapter 3. I had a little bit of difficulty saying that for some reason. Anyway, last time we pretty much found out that there's a war with the dead. And they tried raiding a village. And we found out that Loki went to Veronica for help regarding this. And pointed out a few things. And that's pretty much where we are. Now, something happened... Between... Oh. Yeah, Gustav, like, got on to Alphonse for the choice he made on protecting the village. Even though it was in the best interest of the kingdom that he did. Because what good is running a kingdom if no one's going to live in it? Yeah, that's what I thought. I definitely remember this. Yeah, we're definitely at the part where I had to restart because I realized I was recording the wrong book. Um... So, basically... From what I'm gathering, the reason he got that scar and the reason that it... That, um... The reason he's acting the way he is and all that stuff is because there was an encounter with Hell heir's mother and she gave him a wound which pretty much caused post-traumatic stress on his ass and his mother was like oh there was something that happened but I'm not gonna tell you kind of thing anyway moving on oh great they got they got Rayson and Leanne that's great okay. Bring it on, boy! I'm gonna get that ass. Especially that. Especially Leanne's ass. I do like Leanne. I really do. Okay, sorry about that. I had to open up the fruit roll up. Let's go. So big and strong. Sorry, I was eating a fruit roll up, that's why I was quiet. Bell Bell, you're a dog. Doggiest dogs of dogs yawning at me. Cause you're a big old dog. Sorry, I felt like singing the bell since she's like plopped up on the couch, lazily there enjoying herself. Let me see, 8, 9, 10, 13, okay, so Salika is actually the weakest. Oh, cool. So we have a... Ah, oh, shit, what was that skill Nesala had? I could probably pair them up together. Not in, like, a support kind of way, but, like, have them be near each other that way. There's that little thing in case, like, when they both have it, and they're, like, surrounded... I feel like there's a cutscene coming up. Still clinging to hope. I really do feel like there's a cutscene about to come up. Ravens, messengers of the dead, humans do cling to superstitions. That works well enough for me, though as l their luck has indeed ran out. I said that a little bit. I didn't exactly read it word for word. But I did try actually reading that. Again, I always find Nesala sounding like Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know why, I just, 
I just do. I just do find him always kind of sounding kind of mischievous like Pegasus did in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh. I just, I just, like, when I do Path of Radiance, I'm definitely going to keep that voice for Nesala because it's just, it just fits him so well. Tell me, Walker, am I so just proving useful? What? Aren't you happy to see me? It's just so good. <coughs> Excuse me. Flutter me all you like, Hawking. You get nothing in return. As promised, the Duke Tannis Treaty has been terminated. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Barry. Okay. Fireballs, go! I'll shoot at you with an invisible fireball. Because fireballs. You want me to kill. That was something I did in high school. <laughs> I'd like move my hands as if I was shooting projectiles like fireballs. A few people actually did it with me, which made it even better because I was like fireballs. I don't know why I was very strange in high school. I can't explain why I got beat up a lot. No, not really. I mean, I did get harassed a lot, but I mean, I didn't really get beat up. <laughs> Shit. She is actually really good. And Radiant Dawn. All right, come on. All right, just to make sure that was done correctly. <laughs> ah, woo! Yeah, it's not worth showing off. Wolf. Wolf pack! For more of Wolf Plane! Wolf pack! For more of Wolf Bridge! Wolf pack! For more of Wolf Boat! Here I go. Wolf pack! For more of Wolf Submarine! Now, this is like the best scene. That was like one of the best scenes out of the entire movie. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it was. It was definitely out. Uh, Storks. That was the other movie. It was a Storks movie. It was like Baby Making Factory and all that. It was one of the best scenes inside that. That and the quiet fight. That was also funny as hell. Because it was like, shh, the baby's sleeping. Charge! <laughs> and they like when they bit down, it's like <gasps> they had to like when they when one like one of the penguins bit down on the other guy, it's like ah, he was like about to scare, like no, oh, wait, baby, sleeping, keep it quiet. <laughs> it was just so funny to me. Uh, anyway, that being soon. Yes, so okay, is getting all the glory, but then again, I'm trying to level her up and catch her up. Which she is now caught up with everyone except for Ver Aversa. She is just there. She's too good for her own good. Okay. That's also why I'm using her, because she is good. Fuck! Come on. You think you can take on a dragon? I don't know. I literally have no idea what I'm saying right now. I don't. Yes. Oh, cool. We can kill Turban. I know his name is Tabarn, but I think Turban sounds cooler. I really do. Let's go. Yeah. Get wrecked. Fireballs. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. All right. Fireballs. I'm probably gonna be saying that a lot this part. 
Fire Emblem Heroes part whatever whatever part this actually is. Fireballs. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. Alright, Delphia, since you're the weakest, you get the victory kill. Zap. Excuse me. Alright, let's see. Now, part five. I shall give you death. Really? I thought that would have been obvious based off the opening cutscene we saw at the first part of this book. Well, this got dark fast. I don't wanna. Okay, so she pretty much acts as Hades. All right, let's let me just go ahead and get a quick look at her stats. That's yeah, not too bad. Let's see. Interesting. All right. Now that I'm comfortable and not walking, All right, I'm actually trying to think on how I want to do this. Here I go. Your command. Of course. So big and strong. Yeah, I guess we could have a Versa take up Nyla, Nela, Dahlia, however you say it. Well, shit. Okay, good thing it's Turban doing that. Son of a bitch, Leanne, you traitor. Okay, she's going at he's going after Celica. No, you cannot defeat Zim. No, I was about to say balls for a minute. Yes. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. All right, Delphia, kill Turban. Zap. Aversa, kill Leanne. All right. I was about to call a core and Celica. Bark. Hiya. Of course. Bring it on, boy. I swear to God, if we have to put up with this bullshit damage at the end of the game, I'm gonna be very upset. Let's go. That's bad game design. Very bad game design. I probably should have let um, Delthea take this one. Since she is the lowest and she could use the experience. Damn, this got dark really fast, jeez. Well, before I forget... How I sit, that was quite a fun adventure, weren't you saying, YouTube channel? How I sit, it's been quite a remarkable adventure. I've always wanted to do an outro, but since I'm no longer part of the story, I think I'd bid you all farewell, and one last turtle pip to go. Turtle pip! <laughs>